Jamie from Shamrock Grow World, and today I'm going to show you how you can grow white sapotes from seeds. White sapote fruits are green skinned fruits that are related to citruses and can be easily grown from seeds. But before we start, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell to see more videos about exotic fruits and how to grow them from seeds. First, you can collect the seeds. Collect the seeds from the ripe fruit. White sapote fruits are in season from mid-winter to mid-summer, depending on your regional location or in subtropical areas of the world. Make sure to select ripe fruit. Each fruit may contain zero to five seeds. The seeds can be small or large inside the fruit, but as long as the seeds are round and plump, they should germinate. Flat, firm seeds will not germinate. Make sure to clean the seeds to get rid of the fruit's flesh and sugars. Brief periods of refrigeration don't bother the seeds, but do not freeze the seeds or the fruit before extracting the seeds. If you have dried seeds, they can still germinate. Make sure to soak them in water until they sink. However, they may take longer to sprout. You also don't have to break or score the hard seed shell. White sapote seeds may be short-lived, so plant them as soon as possible, whether fresh or dried, or store them in clean water until you plant them. Next, you can sow the seeds. You can sow the seeds in the soil in a small container. Use well-draining soil, such as potting soil, seed starter mix, or peat moss. Plant the seeds one inch under the soil and at least one inch apart. You can plant the seeds on their side or plant them vertically in the soil. Cover the seeds with soil and lightly water the soil. Make sure that the water drains from the container. Put the container in a warm location, such as a sunny window, a plant heating pad, or in a winter greenhouse. You can plant the seeds at any time of the year, as long as the weather and environment are warm. I planted most of my white sapote seeds on January 20th 2020. I use temporary aluminum loaf pans with holes in the bottom. I put them in my winter greenhouse on the top shelf where it was warm. Now you can wait for growth. White sapote seeds take about four to eight weeks to germinate. You may see the seedling shoots emerging from the soil at around the four week mark. Keep the container warm and water the soil when it gets dry. The constant moisture will ensure that the hard seed shells will open. The seedlings will develop sets of three slender leaves while they grow a few inches tall. The seedlings will have multiple pointed leaves at the two month mark as they grow taller from the soil. As the seedlings grow more leaves, you can expose them to a little bit more sunlight. The colors will range from dark green to light green depending on their growth. As the seedlings get larger and taller, put them in partial sun, but not in intense sunlight. If you put multiple seeds in one container, you can transplant the seedlings when they have large leaves and are several inches tall. I transplanted my older seedlings out of the aluminum pans into individual containers at around the four month mark. I took notes of their roots and I wanted the roots to cover more soil in the small pots. When the seedlings grow several sets of leaves, you can lightly fertilize the plants. For example, at around the seven month mark, I fertilized the seedlings using granular citrus fertilizer. I transplanted the seedlings twice within about two months because of the increasing growth. The seedlings had many defined white citrus-like roots. Make sure to give them large containers as they get bigger especially when they grow out of or underneath the pot. White sapote trees are known to be drought tolerant and mature trees can tolerate some brief periods of frost. White sapote seedlings love humidity, so they'll do well in partial sun with moist soil or rainy environments. The seedlings also tend to be skinny and lanky and will need to be staked and supported. If you live in an area with cold winters as I do, Protect the seedlings from cold weather by growing them indoors near a sunny window or in a greenhouse. The seedlings love the greenhouse when I put them in there for winter protection. In no time, I needed to transplant some of the seedlings again. 
They even started growing new reddish leaves as they developed new growth. They became beautiful little seedlings in the warm and humid greenhouse. In February 2021, Texas experienced a statewide freeze event that dropped the temperatures below freezing for six straight days. Most of my white sapotes survived the freeze because they were positioned in the middle of the greenhouse. Most of my other plants that were in the center of both greenhouses survived undamaged or slightly damaged. Some small white sapote seedlings that were on the shelves or near the greenhouse's tarp were damaged or died. I moved the injured seedlings toward the greenhouse's middle and kept them watered. By the time the white sapote seedlings went outside in the Texas spring in early April, I could see that many of them were still alive or recovering from the freeze. Some smaller and weaker seedlings were severely injured or died from being exposed to the cold air. But most of the now one-year-old seedlings were primarily healthy. The more I transplanted the seedlings, the larger they grew, especially one seedling that was one year and three months old. Some seedlings had inconsistent colored leaves. Many of the seedlings on the greenhouse shelves had varied results, especially the seedlings that I planted in March 2020. But I was happy to put all the seedlings in real sunlight for the first time in about five months. The growing conditions in sunlight should be the same now that they were outside, so they should do well in the sun. I plan on putting the seedlings in partial sun while they are in the mild weather in Texas spring. I hope to see them even out and adjust to the natural sunlight. If they respond well, I plan to transplant them into larger containers now that gardening stores have opened up again. If the white sapote seedlings produce fruit, it may not be the same as the original fruit. It may take seven to 10 years or more for the seed started tree to bear fruit than a grafted or air layered tree. The trees can grow in tropical and subtropical areas of the world or anywhere where citruses are grown. White sapotes are easy to grow from seeds. With proper care and attention, you can have a beautiful tree that may bear green fruit with soft white flesh in several years. If you want to learn more about the white sapote fruit, check out my video in the description. I plan to make a follow-up video of the white sapote seedlings as they grow into spring through fall 2021 after their freeze recovery and regrowth in the warm Texas weather. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell for more videos about exotic fruits, growing exotic fruits, gardening, outdoor crafts, and more. Thank you.